Jesus said to the suffering church at Smyrna, Do not fear for what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to cast some of you into prison. Now, isn't that what governments do? Don't they throw people in prison and toss away the key? Do not fear what you're about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison so that you will be tested and you'll have tribulation for 10 days. Be faithful unto the point of death and I will give you the crown of life. So government is going to cause you problems for 10 days. Some of you are even going to be thrown into prison. And it's very clear in Revelation 2 verse 10 that it's Satan inspiring the government to do this, this work, to counter God's work here in Smyrna. See, these are all examples you can go to which clearly demonstrate that Satan uses the institution of government to accomplish his ends. That's why we are to do what relative to government? Pray. 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 through 4 says we ought to be praying for government so that they can do their job in the right way, so that they can govern in the right way, so that the gospel can travel freely. Well, why would Paul say that? Because he had a little experience with the matter, where he many times in his life was unfairly thrown into jail by the government, which... Satan thought, anyway, he was thwarting Paul's ministry. So when Paul says, pray for the government so that the gospel can go out effectively, you're dealing with a guy that has a little bit of a resume here, knows how, knows how Satan works. So Satan invades and influences the institution of government. Now, here is a, a statement by R.J. Rummel, who wrote a book called Death by Government, and he even coined a term to describe governments abusing their own people. The term he came up with is democide. And he was trying to figure out how the majority of people in world history have died. And what he shows very clearly is that the majority of people in world history have not died through natural causes. Other than death, of course. But it wasn't earthquakes, it wasn't tsunamis, other than old age, I mean. It wasn't uh, hurricanes. It was people around the world being killed by their own government. And he tried to come up with a figure. And the figure he came up with for the number of people in human history who have been victimized by democide, he came up with the number 262 million people. And we don't even know how big a number is like that. And he says, imagine it this way. Stack up people from head to toe that are, can only be five feet tall. So that would rule me out. So get a bunch of five feet tall people and stack them from head to toe. And he says the number 262 million would, would circle the globe ten times. And, and that's the significance of this point that I'm trying to make, that Satan influences government. And here we are in the United States of America, where I, as an evangelical Christian, can show up and do something as casting a vote. And half of the Christians out there won't even take advantage of the opportunity because they're too busy. You, you have to understand something, that every time you, as a Christian, exercise the right that the founding fathers gave you to vote you set back the forces of satan because the default mode of human governments in human history is totalitarianism that's the direction they all go in if left unchecked because power corrupts and absolute power what Corrupts absolutely. So you start understanding biblical principles and you start exercising them in the polling place, you just throw a monkey wrench into Satan's schemes. See that? And that's the, that's the total tragedy of <laughs> the statistics I'm aware of. Our half of the body of Christ is registered to vote. 
And then only half of that number actually shows up in votes. And we wonder, you know, we sit around wondering, well, gosh, the country's gone to hell in a handbasket. And what, what, did, uh, what was it, Benjamin Franklin, what did he say when he came out of the Constitutional Convention? You know, he made a statement. Some lady asked him a question. What have you given us, doctor? A republic or a monarchy? And he said, a republic. And this is in the notes of James Madison. James Madison is the fastidious note taker at the Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia. He said, as recorded in the notes of James Madison, so this is not some quote that I found on the internet. I mean, this is like a real quote. He said a, to her, who was questioning what kind of government he, those in Philadelphia had given, he said, a republic, if you can keep it. So in other words, it's your responsibility to make sure it stays that way and doesn't revert to totalitarianism, which is the default mode of every government uh, on planet Earth. And so, you know, even we have a local election, state election, Tuesday. You can show up and you can exercise your rights there and you can function as the restrainer, which is your function in 2 Thessalonians 2, verses 6 and 7, and you can throw a monkey wrench in Satan's schemes. Isn't that amazing? And yet, how many pastors do you think talk like this to their congregations? It's a stewardship issue. I mean, what is stewardship? Stewardship is, uh, I'm not an owner, I'm a manager. And God is going to hold people accountable at the Bama Seat Judgment of Christ for their stewardship in all kinds of areas. Marriages, families, <clears throat> businesses, life of the church. And if you're an American, I can guarantee you, Jesus is going to want to know what you did with this right that you have that very few people in human history have. You know, the people in Saudi Arabia would die for this kind of opportunity. And yet here we are in the United States just lethargically going to sleep, apathetic about the whole issue. I, I want you to see voting as a Christian calling. Amen. Amen. Well, I better get off that. <laughs> we don't tell you how to vote. You've got a Bible and a mind. But just you, let the Bible inform every single area of life. Uh, one of the other things, real fast, at least I can finish this list. Maybe